There are some money rules I follow as someone in my 20s who's been investing for almost 10 years now. Transferring friends money. If you go out and your friend gets the bill and you got to transfer them, don't transfer them like $25.12 or some shit. Round it up. I wouldn't want to see that shit in my bank account, neither do they. And they took on the risk of you not paying them back, so they should get rewarded for that. Be a good bloke. Never count your chickens before they hatch. If you want to buy something and you can't quite afford it yet, but you're like, oh, it's okay, I get paid on Friday. No, you haven't earned that thing yet. Wait. Wait until you have the money and then buy the thing. Not ask about. Afterpay and buy now, pay later. These are fucking atrocities. If you use these, I'm giving you one of these. You don't need them. You shouldn't need them. Designer clothing brands and labels. Your Louis Vuitton, your Gucci. These brands have mastered your psychology and they specifically target broke people who want to look rich. And I don't judge. So if that's what you want to be, then like, that's fine by me. Just letting you know, there are brands that are just as good where you're not paying for the brand name. Drinking out, like why? Okay, I drink out too. But if you're someone who will go and spend like 150, 200 bucks on a night out on drinks, but then you complain about fuel prices and rent prices and interest rates, you're idiotic. Free drink. And then spend like 20, 30, 50 bucks out. Here's where it gets controversial. Don't go to uni unless you're keen on a profession for fuck's sakes. Too many people go into debt to get a degree that they don't use. If you're getting a degree, do it because you want to be in that profession. Invest in good betting. Like, seriously. You spend like a third of your life in bed. For some people, it's more. And your sleep has the biggest impact on your health. So buy good betting. Don't buy a home. I know I'm going to get shut on for this. Unless you've sat down and gone through all the numbers of what it costs to run and own a home and the opportunity cost, you're not allowed to comment on that point. I would personally buy a home if I could turn it into a cash flowing asset, which most don't. That's because a home purchase is usually a lifestyle choice. It's an emotional decision. I would buy a home if I had like a family and we wanted a very specific place for a very specific reason. But to build wealth, buying a home to live in is not the answer. Unless you do it with the intention of making it a cash flowing asset. Car finance, I'm giving it a thumbs up, hear me out. I haven't financed my car, but in the future, I think I will. For every dollar you spend on a car in cash, that's every dollar that is depreciating in value over time. But if that same money was invested, earning like 10% per annum, but the car finance is only costing you 5% per annum, well, you're in a positive cash flow situation, by having the car. But here's the gag. You've got to actually be able to afford the car and invest. It's no good just financing a car that you can't afford. Uber Eats, it's pretty good. But don't let me catch you complaining about fuel prices and interest rates when you're getting Uber Eats four times a week. 